Hello everyone, and welcome. Today, I'm going to demonstrate how to build a simple dashboard project. So, let's get started. To begin, navigate to windcloud.net and log into your domain. Once logged in, select the Data Source tab and choose an HMI or a simulated device from the device drop-down list. Now, the way Dashboard works is that a device can have up to 500 tags. You can add tags within the Data Source tab, and these tags will be accessible when building a Dashboard project. To add a tag, select a device, then click the Add Tag button in the top left corner. Define the name of your tag, choose the data type, and decide if this tag will support history, meaning it will retain data over time. Note that simulated devices do not support history tags. Choose if the tags will be modifiable, meaning users can write back to the device. Lastly, Set the interval for pulling the tag data from the device. The default rate is quick mode, which pulls data every one second. But you can extend this interval up to 15 minutes. Now that we've added our tags, let's create a dashboard project. Select the project tab, and in the top right corner, click create new project. Enter the project name and description, then click Create. A success pop-up will appear and the dashboard editing window will open. The editing window offers various widgets and functionalities, but we'll cover just a few today. To create a widget, select one from the widget panel on the left side and drag it onto the page. For example, I'll drag a label widget and then change the text to value. Next, let's create a value widget, which displays numeric, string, or boolean values. Click the Select Tags button under Data Source while the value widget is selected. In the window that appears, choose your device and select the tag that you want to display. In this example, I'll choose Simulation 2 because we've added a tag within our Simulation 2 data source. You can customize the widget's appearance, such as font size and color, by exploring the options below the data source section. However, in this example, we'll enable the Write option for this widget. Scroll down to the bottom, where you'll see the Write section. Here, you can allow the widget to accept write actions, and even configure upper or lower limits for numeric tags. Make sure the tag associated with this widget is also set to modifiable. Let's add another widget, this time a meter widget. Drag and drop the meter widget onto your work area. Since the meter widget requires a numeric tag, select a numeric type tag from your data source and click Save. As before, you can customize the widget's style and color. Now that we know how to create widgets, let's discuss creating a new page. In the top left corner, you'll see the Pages section. The first page is called New Page. Click the Edit button to rename it. I'll call it Page 1. Above the Edit button, there's a New Page button. Click this button to create a new page, where you can place more widgets. At this point, we're finished with our simple dashboard project. To publish this project, click the Publish button in the far right corner. Although, next to it, you'll also see a preview option, which allows you to preview the project before publishing. Previewing is a quick way to test if the dashboard project has the desired style. Once satisfied, click Back to Editor. Then, Click Publish to finalize your project. After publishing, you'll see a new link in the following window, 
Copy the URL and paste it into a new tab to view your project. To synchronize your Easy Builder Pro project with the Dashboard project, follow these steps. Open Easy Builder Pro and create a new CMTX project. I'll select a CMT 3072XP in this demonstration. Within your Easy Builder Pro project, select the WindCloud tab. Change the domain or region to global. Then, click the Dashboard button and enable Dashboard in the following window. Log in using your WinCloud domain, username, and password. This action might take a few seconds. In the Address tab, set a unique address that you're not using within your project. Since this is a new project, I'll select LW100. The value of this address will help you determine the status of the WinCloud connection. And on that note, LW stands for local word. This is a type of HMI memory that we can use freely within Easy Builder Pro. Click Sync and choose the device that you've added tags for. In this example, I'll choose Simulation 2 and click Sync once more to synchronize our tags. When finished, click OK, and in the following window, double-click a tag to change the device address. In this example, I'll choose LW1 for our int tag and LB1 for our boolean tag. When finished, click Exit. Finally, let's test the synchronized project. Create objects that align with the tags used in your dashboard project. In this example, I'll create a numeric object addressed to LW1 and a toggle switch addressed to LB1. Since these were the addresses selected within the dashboard dialog window, place these objects on your work area, then Within the Project tab, select Offline Simulation. When prompted, save your project. Then, the project will compile and CMT Viewer Simulation will display. Now, navigate back to your dashboard project and you should see the values update. If you do not see these values update while the simulation is running, click the Refresh button to refresh this window. And with that, you now have the skills to create your first simple dashboard project. If you found this tutorial helpful and would like to see more, head on over to our channel to check out the latest technical tutorials. Feel free to check out our forum as well for free demo projects, user manuals, and more. Thank you for watching.